Today we're going to be talking about five ways that you can participate in the End Intersex Surgery campaign. And while we're doing that, I'm going to be trying on some suits because it's almost time to return them and I still haven't figured out what I'm going to wear for my best friend's wedding, which I'm standing up in. So stay tuned to figure out how you can be an ally to intersex people. What is intersex? Intersex is an umbrella term for people born with sex traits that don't fall neatly into either the male or female categories as we traditionally think of it. These can be your gonads, your reproductive organs, hormones, genitalia, or your chromosome. And intersex happens in about 1-2% to of the human population, making it as popular as people born naturally with red hair. And what is the N intersex surgery campaign? Intersex children are often subjected to medically unnecessary surgeries to alter their genitals. And these surgeries have devastating negative impacts. Some of these surgeries include clitoral reductions, removal of one's functional testes, and vaginoplasties. These surgeries should be delayed and should only be done with the full informed consent of the intersex adult patient. And we're calling, actually we're demanding, that Lurie Children's Hospital in Chicago become the first children's hospital in the nation to ban these unnecessary surgeries, which have been called out by the United Nations as forms of torture and human rights abuses. So, the first thing we ask you to do in our digital campaign for end intersex surgery is to tweet at Lurie. And here's a sample tweet. At Lurie Children's, you do so many good things, and you're a leader in keeping up with current medical practices. So will you also become the first to lead in this campaign that urges medical providers to respect the human rights of intersex children? Hashtag end intersex surgery. There's a few other tweets there that you can copy and paste as well. Now let's try on the second suit for the wedding and also talk about the second thing you can do online to put pressure on lower children to end these horrible surgeries. I kind of like it. Good color, I really like the color. Really love the material of the pants and the jacket. This is also the second thing you can do in the end intersex surgery campaign, and that's using Facebook. So one of the sample things we have for you to say to Lurie on Facebook is this. Did you know, in October of 2016, the United Nations declared that unnecessary surgery and treatment without informed consent of intersex children is a human rights violation, yet at Lurie Children's continues to perform medically unnecessary cosmetic procedures on intersex children. I am 100% invested in supporting intersex patients across the country, but in particular, those that are born with intersex traits and come to your hospital. As intersex activists from across the country came outside of Lurie Children's Hospital on June, I mean, on July 18th, demanding an end to intersex surgery. I hope Lurie will listen and become the first hospital in the U.S. to end unnecessary intersex surgery. So that's just an example of something that you can paste into your Facebook and tag Lurie to make a change for intersex people. Now, let's go to suit option number three. Kind of nice. Kind of like it. This is also the third thing that you can do for the end intersex surgery campaign, which involves Instagram. So. Every time Lurie Children's posts on Instagram, their handle's at Lurie Children's, we were asking people to comment hashtag and intersex surgery. And you could take it one step further. So if you go into the toolkit linked below, we have sample posts that you can share. And one of them is this. Intersex children should be allowed to determine if they want surgery when they are adults. Intersex children deserve self-determination. Lurie. Will you be the first to lead and urge providers to respect the human rights of intersex children? So that's just one of the many samples that we have up on the digital toolkit for you to copy and paste every time Lurie Children's posts a new post. We're looking for you to really help us with that part of the campaign. So let's try on another suit and come back with the fourth thing that you can do to help out with this campaign. So the fourth way that you can get involved with the end intersex surgery campaign, and this one's a little bit different, so pay attention. This is the part where we're asking you to actually email Lurie Children's, but we make it as easy and pain-free as possible because we give you a whole thing that you can copy and paste, and you just tweak a little bit here and there. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's kind of long, but if you can go on the digital toolkit linked below and write an email to the CEO, Patrick Magoon, and also the ethics department at Lurie Children's, we have a whole template for you, and feel free to tweak it however you want, and please, please, please send them an email. I think 
We often use social media like Twitter and Facebook, Instagram, but we often forget that we can also just email people. So I think it's also important to email them because the CEO is the same CEO that was present when I was a child going through my unnecessary surgeries at this hospital. So he needs to know that he is overseeing this. And by overseeing this and not ending it, he's complicit in it as well. And we also have the ethics department here, CC, because we want the ethics department to know what's going on at their hospital too. So please send the email. You can CC me as well, so I know you sent it. So let's move on to the fifth outfit and the fifth way that you can get involved in the campaign. They match and I really like that. I think. I really think I like this one. This one might be it. It's really comfortable. It fits right. It's the color. It's one of the official colors of the wedding, cobalt blue. So I like it. Let me know what you think. And also, let's get down to the fifth way that you can take part in the end intersex surgery campaign. And this one is using, which is really hard for millennials like myself, the telephone. But we've made it really, really easy. And when you go to the link below, there's the telephone script and we're asking you to call Larry Children's and just read what's on there. Don't worry, you're not gonna speak to anybody. It's just leaving a message. And we're asking them again at the end, will they become a leader and end intersex surgery? So these are the five ways that you could take part in the end intersex surgery campaign. Also, I wanted to talk about the fact that wearing suits, for me as a non-binary person who has a chest, uh, it's kind of hard, right? Cause like shirts and coats made for people without chests don't really fit us that right. I have been wearing a binder underneath this suit and it's a chest binder that flattens out my chest that I got from GC2B and their Instagram handle is GC2B and they are a queer trans owned company that makes really awesome binders. It's my first binder ever and I thought it would be more uncomfortable than a sports bra but actually since I've gotten the binder I've stopped wearing sports bras because now those are super uncomfortable to me and I could wear the binder almost all day I'm not saying that's going to be this true for everybody but for somebody like me it has been and it's really helped me feel better when I try on masculine or men's clothing such as a suit because it flattens out the top and it just makes the clothes fit me a little bit better I got the color that's like closest to my skin tone if you can see it right there there kind of just blends in and kind of stays out of the way so shout out to them if you need a binder I really really highly recommend them that wraps today's video I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you take part in the end intersex surgery campaign don't forget to click the link in the description to see all the ways you can participate and if you like this video and you want to see more like it please feel free to subscribe to my channel and also hit the little bell for notifications and don't forget to let me know which outfit you liked best one, two, three, four, or five in the comments below. I hope that we can work together to bring positive change for intersex people. And remember, intersex stories, not surgeries. <laughs>